The problem I see with most people is that they don't know how to praise themselves. The issue with that is that it's going to make you feel like you're overworking yourself, that you're working a lot, but you're not getting paid as much. So how do you price yourself right? Here are five things you can follow that's going to help you put the right price tag on your skills. Number one, know your worth. This is the basic. You need to know how much you should be charging per hour. What is your worth? per hour and that's going to be based on many things it's going to be based on your experience in the game how long have you been say for example dancing how long have you been teaching the knowledge that you have the expertise that you have and also going to be based on the reward that you have received so if you have received some well-known reward this is going to help you to boost your price up so let's say for example that the price that you're going to be charging is 50 pound an hour we're going to use that just to go along all the other points that i'm going to be making number two cover your expenses. The problem I see with most people is that they do not take into consideration expenses that occur. Now, let's say for example that you're going to be teaching a private session. Now, the expenses that's going to occur is going to be your travel expenses. It's going to take you probably £5 to get there and £5 to come back. So altogether, it's going to be £10. What you don't want to do is charge £50 regardless of the extra expenses that's going to occur. If you do that, essentially you're not going to be earning £50, you're going to be earning £40. So what you want to do is take into consideration how much is it going to cost you to go to teach your session. So in this case, £10. So your price should be at least £60 an hour. Number three, charge for extra time. What do I mean by that? Let's say for example you're a choreographer and that you've been asked to teach a two minute piece. There's two things you're going to need to take into consideration. Your preparation time, how long it's going to take you to prepare that two minute piece and also your teaching time, how long you're going to spend teaching that piece to whoever you need to teach it to. So let's say for example that your preparation time is going to last about five hours and your teaching time is going to last about five hours. So it's 10 hours altogether. You charge 50 pound an hour, the minimum you should be charging is 500 pound. And when I say the minimum, I'm going to explain to you what I mean at the end. Number four, compare but do not copy. What do I mean by that? You need to compare yourself to the market but do not copy and paste your pricing based on the market because everybody is different your pricing is going to be different from somebody else and the mistake that i see many times with people is that you're going to go to a dance studio and you're going to have people charging exactly the same price regardless of you having more experience than somebody else so if everybody in a dance studio for example charging five pounds for the class but your expertise is much more higher and you have much more experience then you shouldn't be charging five pounds you should take that five pound into consideration and maybe charge seven eight nine or ten pound Number five, charge accordingly. What do I mean by that? You need to know your clients before you're gonna be able to set your price. And you should not give your price until you have all the information in hand. So if, for example, you are teaching a workshop locally, you're gonna be charging your standard price. However, if you are working for a big company, so let's say that you're gonna be working for Nike or Adidas, your price cannot be the same as you working with the local company. So you need to know who you're gonna be working with so you can charge accordingly. And that is very important. That is the reason why you need to know all the details before setting your price. So in conclusion, the thing that I would want you to remember is know your price, know how much you are worth and stick to your price, stick to your guns. Regardless of who you're gonna be working with, it might be higher, but it cannot be lower. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, anything that you want to add on, anything that you agree or don't agree with, write it down in the comment box below. Super Malcolm, I'm out.